Hello, welcome back to Tiffany Talks Tarot. So today we are on the Wands family. I am doing the court cards as families, so I'm not splitting them up into individuals because I want to talk to you about the maturation of the energy because I think that's an easier way to read the court cards. Although at the same time, for me to kind of explain it the easiest way is to explain them to you as a family um, and if you listen to it and you think about the people that you know like that it will also help you to understand them but remember that court cards don't necessarily mean a person they could mean a situation and whether they mean a situation or a person is neither here nor there really because all the time it will be talking to the querent about paying attention to that aspect in themselves some way or another and that is the most important message of all. Okay so let's begin with the court cards. So court cards are the element, sorry, the wand cards are the element of fire. So we have the page of wands. Okay so this is basically as I said in the other videos, pages are aces. So it's like having the ace of wands, okay? It's the new energy. So this soul, if we if we look at this as a child, uh, this soul has come into the world with a big wand, <laughs> a big stick, a very big stick. And, um, you know, Wands aren't particularly humble and they aren't particularly thoughtful. They aren't particularly sensitive. They tend to rush in where angels fear to tread. So um, what you've got here probably as a child is somebody who's quite loud, active, into everything. Just doesn't seem to have any fear in them and maybe a real handful <laughs> a real ball of energy to actually kind of um you know make sure that they stay alive you know like they're probably always breaking bones and things along those lines that stick going okay but pages remember are like aces and they're also messengers and so page of wands is a messenger of action in some way shape or form and let's say that this page grows up to the Knight of Wands. And uh, I'm just going to say he, it can be he or she. He is just for ease and use of simplicity. So let's say university age. Again, that's just me boxing things just to get this across a little bit more. Um, so knights really are anyone that's got a youthful kind of energy around them. Uh, young adult energy around them okay all right so this knight of wands um probably is supposed to officially be at college or university but isn't um he's probably got a car and a very good beatbox in his car and maybe a couple of girls in the back and a and maybe a couple of friends as well with him and he's doosh, 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 boom, down the street, yeah? Or he's on a gap year. Even before his year's finished, he's on that gap year travelling to Egypt or somewhere else, yeah? So <laughs> well, you've got that, that energy going on very strongly there in the Knight of Wands, which is an opportunity to take action, an opportunity to move in some way, shape or form. And then, because all knights are opportunities, and then we get to mum. So mum's not really going to be a stay at home mum. She's probably going to be that super perfect mum. Well, not not in a way that she's perfect, actually. She's less perfect than the Queen of Pentacles. Um, but she seems like superwoman, you know. She's like um, the lady that's been to the gym and done 2,000 press-ups before the sun's come up. Then she gets her children up and her husband off to work. And then she gets herself off to work, she runs her own business and she runs the team there and then she 
does, comes back and she does a PTA meeting and then she cooks dinner for her husband's clients, um, business meeting that they're hosting at home. Um, you get the picture, yeah? Um, this, this lady here probably has some control issues as well. <laughs> And uh, I know this so well because I'm a queen of wands. I am a Leo. I have a little black cat. <laughs> you know, she's also very psychic. <clears throat> the queen of wands, she's very, very, very tuned in because fire sees clearly. Yeah. So very dynamic, very creative and uh, very clairvoyant. Okay. So that's uh, the queen of wands. And then we have the king of wands. King of Wands, here we go. So the King of Wands, I can't help but see David Beckham. <laughs> and with the Queen of Wands, I see, you know, Posh Spice or um, I see Madonna um, or I used to see like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. And it's funny how I can really actually see the celebrities in the wands because that's what they are they're like ta-da the visible world take notice you know that's that's the energy so i guess this is where you're going to find the celebrity families so king of wands here is uh like a big kid really you know likes to play football with his two boys you know really loves that loves them dearly and just loves to play you know his toys have just got bigger as as he's got bigger so you know he really does love spending time with the children because you know he can just really 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 be a boy himself in that sense um as a man he's got the gift of the gab he's a bit of a charmer he's got charisma um, maybe a salesman or a sports person or a celebrity um, and uh, it's got a very big stick <laughs> so you know it's probably the most um most yeah he likes the women Don't, I'm not saying that all king of wands are unfaithful but they definitely like that attention and to have a lot of testosterone put it that way <laughs> Um, so that's what he's like as a dad and a husband. And uh, yeah, so maturation of the king of wands. Because if we look at the page of wands, this is the most immature of the element of fire. But when we get to the most mature of the element of fire, it still loves to be immature. It still loves to be fun. Um, so we don't get that real sense of grown upness really with the king here we in a way we get that more with the queen because she's very controlling <laughs> you know so it's like i will take responsibility for everything because i cannot let go of anything so you know this is this is uh in a way more mature but not mature still um so yeah i've been talking about the maturation throughout these series so if you don't understand what I'm talking about have a look at the swords one that I did or the cups court cards that I've done and it will explain it more um so king of wands can represent time to take action in business queen of wands can be talking about taking action in community knight of wands time to move as I said page of wands a message about taking action Okay, I hope that you find that useful. Thank you and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one, which is about the pentacles. Gosh, and that will be my last video. I'll have done all of the cards. So that will be the last one that you will see from me, at least that I plan to do for now. It's taken me years to do this. And if you want to talk to me about how we, we can help you, get to them. when I say we I mean you and me what we can do you know together to actually activate the magic intuition understanding synchronicity and connection in your life all you have to do is click that link below and fill in the form and uh, 
we have a chance to then get on the phone and talk about it and make a plan for you on how exactly to do that. Okay, take care for now. Bye.